Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, you will learn how to create text check effect in Filmora 10. Okay, so actually it is very, very simple. Just follow me. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10. Uh, firstly, we need to add text to our timeline and to do that, we go to title and then go to the included folder here. Yeah, find the text that you want to add to the timeline. And I think the title, the default title is the best one, okay? So we can click on this plus button to add it to the timeline. Click on that. And now we have this text uh, on the timeline. The duration is 5 seconds, alright? And we're going to change it to something that we want to write on the timeline. Just double click on that. Uh, now you can change the text. Uh, so I'm going to change it to text check, uh, stuff like that and also change the fonts to my favorite Anton regular and the next thing I can increase the text way here and also the sign go to 140 and enter uh, now okay so now uh, supposing that I have a text here on the timeline yeah, this position and for example at this position I want to add text uh, text shape effect uh, it is very easy just go to uh, effect here the effect tab and now uh, go to the included folder and click on this drop down menu and click on filters here filter and then uh, we have shake effect here actually actually Fimura offer eight eight different type of shake uh, you can drag and drop any of them okay so let's start with the first one extreme uh, like this okay and now I want to have the duration of the the effect uh, just one second uh, right click on the effect here and select duration so I'm going to select here change it to one second okay so this is just the shake effect for one second right and we can double click on the effect on the timeline to customize it uh, just double click and here we have some option just uh, it depends on you uh, on how you you can increase the frequency or reduce the uh, frequency and also uh, the position or stuff like that you can increase or reduce uh, all this stuff is is up to you your personal opinion okay for me I can enable the RGB separate and uh, look like this okay so at this position I think uh, I, I will add another shake effect just do the, do the same uh, so go to the effect and then go to shake folder and then okay so this time we can choose uh, this one up and down just drag and drop it here and also change the duration uh, now I can just uh, click here and then shorten the duration of the of the effect on the timeline but uh, it is not uh, one second uh, not exactly one second as I go to the duration and change it to one second okay but uh, it should be okay like this okay and again we can double click on this effect uh, to customize it, uh, here we have the frequency, uh, we can change it to 200, for example, and reduce the position and stuff like that, and increase the chair position X and position Z, and then click OK. Now we have this one. Okay, so at the beginning and at the end of the text, I think it's a little bit boring, so I'm going to to come back to the beginning I'm going to add keyframe so here is a keyframing so we can click here to add a keyframe to our text and at this position I want to scale it to zero and right here right at this position before the the effect appear I can just uh, scale rescale it so the, the text will appear like this ooh, ooh, ooh. Again, here I want the text to disappear or stuff like that. So I'm going to add another keyframe right here and then move my playhead to the end of the, the text here and then scale it down to zero. Okay, so it's done. Uh, that is how you can uh, create shake effect for your text inside Filmora 10. I hope it is uh, helpful for you and simple enough for you to follow. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I would like to help you understand about this software. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye and see you again.